Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach, and you're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what ought to be a great matchup between the Oakland Raiders and the Houston Texans. With that, let's head over to the space city of Houston, standing by at NRG Stadium. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, we are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. They do it big here in Houston, and a second ago it was a Texas-sized welcome for their hometown guys. They're fired up and ready to go as they get set to match up with Derek Carr and the Oakland Raiders. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kick off straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. So here's Kaimi Fairbairn to do the honors. 22 men ready to do battle. It's time to dance. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here comes the Raiders' offense now onto the field. They'll be let out by their quarterback out of Fresno State. It's the pro bowler, Derek Carr. And one of the things that I think that Derek Carr's really improved in doing since college, his ability to stay in the pocket, things swirling around him, find the right guy, and deliver the ball with accuracy. Derek Carr has great touch when he throws the football. Marshawn Lynch and it's defense feeling the encouragement they stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon and this whole line it is the lifeblood of the offense they establish the tone mean nasty physical they can't wait to get after people that allows the rest of the offense to feel confident They had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Get down, get down. You ready? There's a run. On second down, Lynch. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Eight yards on the run there, and that leaves him with third and just a couple. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Well, you know, in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and they're only thinking right. one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass them with a running play. They'll run it. Here's Lynch. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Well, so much for picking it up on the ground on third down. Third play of the drive, and this defense showing strong early. I wonder how much of that was scouting. I wonder how much of that was a gut feeling like, okay, let's just go ahead and sell out here and get after them, thinking they're going to run the football and stuff them early because they've now set the tone. They've set a precedent right here that if you're going to try and run the ball against us, it could be hard going throughout this game. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Townsend to punt it. Tyler Irvin back deep. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here.
On the ground, this is Lamar Miller. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven yard line. It's a six yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And that run, that changes the whole mentality about the drive right there. They were starting on their own two yard line. They just wanted enough space to pump the football successfully. Now they're talking about putting together a drive. Play action for Miller. Now Watson going deep for Hopkins. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. A shotgun snap for Watson. And he's got Miller. And they're going to get the first down here across the 15-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Faking the give. Now Watson going deep for Hopkins. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Throwing again is Watson. Caught left side, Hopkins. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. They face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. Watson looks to throw again. Open man is Miller, he's got it. And he's gonna get to the 31, enough for the first down. It's a nine yard gain and it keeps the drive moving. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive, he may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Uh, absolutely, this early, the opening drive is you sent two catches. So if they can get him going in the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a first down throw, Watson. And the Raiders have got him. Khalil Mack in there to sack him for a loss of six. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Back 22. They'll run it now out of the gun. And it'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. Able to pick up a healthy chunk of yards, seven yard gain, but a tough third and nine upcoming. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the
Ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. From the gun, here's Watson. The catch made by Miller. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. On first down, Watson. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll bring up a second down. So we've reached the end of a fairly even first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing, our score. EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it's Texans football as we get going in quarter number two. They're looking at a second and short yardage to start things out. Watson going to give this one to Miller. He'll be stopped short of the 25. The nice move couldn't free him. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. To throw is Watson. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Carl Joseph. The 40, the 20, 10, and the Raiders are in for six. Touchdown. I don't know who all is to blame there, but I love seeing pick sixes. Nothing like seeing someone pluck it out of the air and go the other way and see people try to change directions. Hard to do. On for the extra point, Giorgio Tavecchio. Extra point up and good by Tavecchio. And that makes the score 7-0. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Here's Thompson to return it. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And here comes the Texans now. And following the pick six. And they've 
decent field position and throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Fresh off the pick six, it's Watson. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to a guy playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Watson off play action. Blitz coming and down he goes. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. The Texans on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and seven. Down. Green, down. Green, down. Out of the gun, Watson. And the pressure gets to him again. Khalil Mack in there to get him. His second sack now of the afternoon. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. Now here's Shane Leckler on to punt it away to his longtime team, the Raiders. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Raiders will take over now, first and 10. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. that got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Shotgun now for Carr. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. A gain of four on the play, and that'll make it a second down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw at any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Help! Operating from the gun, Carr. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for an Oakland first down. Pretty good location there on that throw. It really was, wasn't it? That was likely one where the receiver was either going to catch it or no one. Really good decision. And boy, what a catch and move right there. And a tough spot to get it over the middle. Right. 
So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On the give, this is Lynch. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Houston after this timeout. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. Now Carr throwing on second down. And that's incomplete. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. He's going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. On third down, they go Lynch. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. And now the Texans are going to stop it as they signal for a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. Here now, Johnny Townsend, as he'll punt it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. We'll call that a 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And the Texans are going to have the football with a first and ten deep in their own territory. Heading out is the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. And things haven't started so well for this side. Two drives, two punts. So now you've got to start looking not just at play calling, but which guy's going to step forward and say, OK, let's get this thing done. Because within that unit of 11, sometimes one guy can make a big time play and break through the barrier. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. On first and ten, Watson. Fuller brings it in over the middle. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. On first down, it's Watson. Miller on the catch over the middle. Give him nine there on the first down completion. It's hurry-up mode time for the Texans hustling up to the line. On second down, here's Watson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Fuller. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Watson on first down. Forced out to his left. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. Two. 
Off of play action, it's Watson. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Griffin. A good pick up there at 22. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Throwing on first down, Watson. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Bruce Irvin in there to get him for a loss of five. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Now a play fake, and it's Watson. Going deep for Hopkins, and that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. The Texans on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and 15. Watson hands to Miller on the draw. Nine yards on the carry there, but it'll be fourth down now. Kaimi Fairbear now to attempt the Texan field goal. This from 44 yards out, left hash. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they're still down, but they are able to salvage three here heading into the lockers. This is what you work on from the beginning of training camp. Heading into the half, put some points on the board. No matter what the score says at that point, you've accomplished what you set out to do. Fairbairn now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty, as they come up on first and ten. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Raiders out in front as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. 
So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. Dances by him. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here at half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at the 31-yard line. Watson, from the gun, he'll throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Hopkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? They're able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Watson now on first and 10. Throw left side complete. It's Griffin. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Now it's Watson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Griffin. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. A first down carry now for Miller. And he's going to bring this one down to right about the 20-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. 
That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Here's Watson now on second down. And his throw is incomplete. Will Fuller was the intended target. And it's third and short. Uh, you got a young quarterback. You know, Maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. Watson on third down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Mario Edwards in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying <laughs> to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first. Now this from 43. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, Things stiffened a little bit and forced the field goal. Fairbairn now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try to get something going to Marshawn Lynch. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Car to throw on second down. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Cooper's first catch, and good for a first down. to Lynch. That he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. Mark 
Marshawn Lynch, 60 yards. And the Raiders add six to their lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. The lefty Tavecchio now to add the extra point. Tavecchio good on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's all capped off by a Marshawn Lynch touchdown run. Tavecchio now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. DeAndre Hopkins and the rest of the offense heading back onto the field. Sort of a slow and steady game so far, but reliable for him here in this third quarter. Sounds like we're describing a possession receiver, right? The one that finds a way to make the big catches, the ones that break the backs of defenses, keep first downs accumulating. I think he's that and maybe a little bit more. Yeah, he's been pretty good so far. We'll see if he can make this good game a great game. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10, just shy of the 30. Back to throw, Watson. And he's gonna drop this off to his fullback. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Call it a gain of five, and it'll make it a second down. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. Second and five after the five yard completion on first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And an alley to run. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. A pickup of 11 at a Texans first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Watson hands this to Foreman. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Marcus Gilchrist there to bring him down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be brought down, it looks like right at the 40. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down, so so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Houston, 
It's Texans football, but they trail here as we get started in the fourth quarter. On first down. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. He was looking to get it to his running back, Lamar Miller. And that'll bring up second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing again on second and 10, Watson. And that'll be incomplete. What's the old adage, be quick but don't hurry? Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of, otherwise he was gonna get sacked. Big play coming up, here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And now another one thrown incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Here's Shane Leckler now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 22. Here's Carr. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. And he will fight his way forward to about the 23-yard line. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Throwing his car on third down. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Here now Johnny Townsend as he's on to punt for Oakland. Fielded at the 20. Look at the dance and the juke! A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. And now out comes Houston. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. 
keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Here's Watson, throwing on first down. And down he goes, brought down a Raiders sack. Bruce Irvin in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Hell, green the line, green the line. A shotgun snap for Watson. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And at the 42-yard line here and brought down there. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it. And he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. But he's got the completion to Hopkins. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Yeah, you have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Hell, black 22. On first down, Watson. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Hey, who hey, who hey. Back to the air, Watson on second down. That's complete over the middle to Anderson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's Foreman. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down at about the length of the football. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this.
So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. The offense on third down tonight, not quite 50%, four for nine. They're looking at third and a few inches. From the gun, here's Watson. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Figuring they're going for it on fourth down. Remember, though, they do have all three timeouts, so even if they don't get it, all is not lost. Yeah, normally in this situation, when you're talking about having to go for it, everything is in this play. But as you noted, with those three timeouts, they actually have a little bit of a safety net. They'll run for it. This is Foreman. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. He's back to throw. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. As his guys are in for six. And now the Texans are within a two-point conversion of tying up this game. The touchdown is huge, but the focus now is on the two-point play. I don't want to say they have a cushion here, but if they don't get it, they still have a chance for an onside kick. Yeah, they would need some big-time help, but you're right. There would be a shot, but the focus right now on that two-point conversion. A big spot now for the Texans as they'll try for two. Time to his left. And the failure to convert and tie the game. Now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So out come the Raiders. They have the football. They're looking good, but the lead is just two. So any mistake in a field goal can beat you. they got to be careful. And that's where it gets difficult because you don't want that to leak into your thinking. You want to play like, hey, we've got the advantage. We can close this out. Don't play from fear, and they can win this game. See if they can play fear-free and hang on. They'll start on the ground with Lynch. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now the Texans are going to stop it as a signal for a timeout. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Now, 
A tenth carry of the game for Marshawn Lynch. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And now the Texans want to call another timeout as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. The offense on third down tonight, they've only converted once in four tries. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They'll run with Marshawn Lynch. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down game. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. We're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Clock counting down toward 40 seconds as they take the knee. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long from Houston.